Welcome back to the Green Means Go channel. It's your host, me, and I'm feeling the pressure today, week eight rankings, because last week, the amount of comments I had, like FKM512 that said, good list, great list, your best list yet, was overwhelming. And usually these comments are reserved for people insulting me, and there were not a lot of people insulting me last week. So uh, you guys got to up your game, figure out what I'm doing wrong, and fry me in the comments. Just kidding. I appreciate the support, but uh, hopefully I can continue that even though we know my track record isn't that great. Amy Anderson says Vikings will win the Super Bowl this year. That may very well be the case, but they did not get past the Lions at home, which uh, division rival, you want to win those games. So we'll see what happens with the Vikings. And I owe Patrick Novak an apology. Steelers, come on. Uh, I've been hard on the Steelers. Russell Wilson looked good. Jets looked bad. I don't know which uh, matters more, where that teeter-totter balances out, but the Steelers are 5-2, and two, and they are, again, they're looking good. So uh, we'll respect them this week. Let's go ahead and start with the AFC West, and we'll start with the Chiefs, who go to Santa Clara and win a hard-fought game again with their defense. I'm going to put them in the Super Bowl convo. I know it's been a while. I know I typically don't lead with the Chiefs in the Super Bowl conversation. I, t I tend to keep them down here because I'm tired of it, but they're undefeated. So they're the only undefeated team in the NFL. We're in the middle of a dynasty, guys, and I just have to accept it and appreciate it. Chargers lost on Monday night, a brutal loss, low scoring. You know, they're missing a lot of weapons on the offense. They do have a wild card shot right now uh, because they're not going to win the division, but the Broncos are actually ahead of them. So we will put the Chargers in the hmm category and understand that if they can get their ducks in a row, they might have a chance, but they're lacking. They're lacking just a spark. And like I said, the Denver Broncos would be in the playoffs if the, the playoffs started today. What? What? Uh, that's true. Now, obviously, they have you know over half of the year to still go, but we are going to respect them and say that uh, this, AFC, this, this AFC conference is so weak that the Broncos may find their way to the playoffs, which is kind of an abomination, but it is what it is. So we'll put them in Week 18 Warriors. Raiders? Wins the draft. I don't know who's going to play quarterback. I guess they're going to have to go back to Gardner Minshew because Aiden O'Connell broke his thumb this weekend. Yikes. And finally, uh, not finally, that is the AFC West. Okay, moving on to the AFC North. We have the Bengals, who beat the Cleveland Browns this weekend and are taking their way up after an awful start as well. And if you look, if you zoom out and you look, I think the Bengals have a better chance of making the playoffs than do the Broncos. I think this is a much better team, more firepower, more potential. So even though their record is is lagging behind the Broncos, I think they will eventually catch up and have a better position for the wild card. The Browns. The Steelers. We'll, we'll talk about them. They are 5-2. and two. Russell Wilson, I was outspoken about it. I said, why? Justin Fields is winning you games. Wilson looked darn good on Sunday night, and he looked like he's giving them an edge that they did not have. And coupled with that defense, you know, uh, it, we got it. We got a team on our hands here. So I'm going to take a risk, and I'm going to put my put, put my apology where my mouth is. Patrick Novak, I said I was sorry. Here is why I'm sorry. We're going to move the Steelers up to comfy playoffs. We're going to recognize that while I do believe. The Ravens will win the division. The Steelers certainly have the best shot at a wild card right now in the AFC. So we'll put them in comfy playoffs. Ravens, I'm still going to put in Super Bowl conversation. I realize that this is impossible, but being down 10 points and then scoring like 41 unanswered on the road, just too dynamic. They're too, they have too much for most teams. So I think that is going to pay off in the long run, especially in the winter when it's cold and teams don't, you know, don't air it out as much and it could be wind, it could be, you know, 30 degrees. They're going to just run down teams' throats. So we'll put Ravens Ravens in Super Bowl conversation. Why would I I mean, is there a bigger meltdown than than the Jets? Is there a bigger disappointment? You go out, you get Devontae Adams, you fire your coach, right? Like everybody's looking at you and you go to Pittsburgh and you don't even score a point in the second half. You don't put up a fight. Six and 11. I'm done with this team. I, I know some of you may slot them here and say, well, they still have a chance to win the wild card, uh, get a wild card spot. Let's not rule them out. I'm ruling them out. I'm putting them at six and 11. The Bills will win the division and I think it will come pretty easily. So we will slot them at comfy playoffs for that reason. Tua is back this week, but I don't think it matters. 
I do still see a way that they can get six games, so we'll put them there. And finally, we have the Patriots, who went to London and could not do anything against the Jags uh, after like the first two drives. First two drives look great, and then they decided to stop airing it out, passing. Like, let's stop doing what worked for us. Wins the draft. Moving on to the AFC South, we have the Colts, who are on the heels of the Houston Texans, surprisingly. I still believe that Joe Flacco should be the starter if they want to make the playoffs and they want to win now, but that is clearly not going to be how it goes. They're winning games without you know, a healthy team for the most part. So again, I'll respect it. I'll put them in Week 18 Warriors, and I'll say that these are kind of your wildcard teams right now. I do think the Texans will still win the division. I know they lost, but they lost to the Packers, a very formidable team in the NFC, and it was a close loss. So we'll put them in comfy playoffs, take the stand that they will win the AFC South. Uh, you know, people are mad in the comments that I am showing love to the Jaguars. I don't know if 6-11 and 11 is showing them love. It, to me, it seems insulting, but some people may say that's still too uh, too generous. I'll put them at 6-11 and 11 right now. I don't, I, you know, I, I don't think they deserve the hmm category um, until they prove to me that they can beat a team with more than one win. And finally, we have the Titans who, moving on to the NFC, we have the NFC West. We have the Cardinals who got a win. I think this is a very underrated division in the NFL. I know that the best division is the NFC North. These teams all have a winning record, but these teams are not far behind. Uh, and, and if you take these teams win healthy, I think they're even stronger because, you know, these two are, are suffering a lot of injuries right now. Anyway, we'll put the Ravens at hmm, be, or sorry, the, the, the Cardinals at hmm, because I do see you know, it's a long shot. It's outside looking in, but I think they can win more than six games. And I think, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of between uh, the wild card picture and six games. So we'll put them in the hmm category. The Niners did lose. There's talks that McCaffrey will be back by week 10. I don't know how much I'm buying it. Brandon Ayuk is out for the season with a torn ACL and MCL. Debo Samuel has pneumonia. What? Um, so how do you get pneumonia in California as a 30-year-old? I don't know. That seems unlikely. Uh, but here's the deal. This team is still too good to be counted out. Will I count them in comfy playoffs right now? I'm I I I, sh I I may I may should wait a second, guys, guys, guys. We didn't do that. We didn't arrange these. What? We gotta arrange them. Okay, we'll keep the Chiefs at one. We'll keep the Ravens at two. That's fine. Although I do think this would be a heck of a game. But since the Chiefs have the head-to-head -head win, we'll keep them there. Moving to comfy playoffs. Okay, I still think that the I mean here's the deal: the Bills beat this team, right? So you have to kind of do that. I, uh, I'll i do it like that, but understand I'm not I'm not happy with it. I still, I don't know about the Steelers. I want to do this, right? Like my gut says this, but I'll I'll do this to, a, again, as a, as, a, as a further apology to Patrick Novak. This, uh, we'll put the Broncos, Colts, last. Okay, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Uh... I'm okay with this, and then wins the draft. Does it really matter? It does not. We'll do, we'll do something like that. Okay, there's the AFC full ranks. Now, like we said, Cardinals will go in. Hmm. Niners, uh, you know, uh, I'm torn because my gut says here. My gut says this is the team that wins the division, and so you know what? Why am I doing anything but going with my gut? We'll put them there. All right. Um, the Chargers or the here's the deal. The Rams. Okay, pause. Time out. Okay, my neighbors have a golden doodle puppy. Okay, and here's a little rant for you guys. I don't. I don't know the situation. I don't know how they came across this dog. I don't know if it was like a rescue thing, but how do you res rescuing a puppy is kind of weird. Like, the bottom line is they don't really care about the thing, and and I'm just kind of of the camp that if you get a dog, like you are making a commitment to the dog, like take care of the dog, right? He's just out there barking at the door, asking to come in. And he has been for the entirety of this video. And I'm like, oh, I didn't do it. 
do the, oh, it's because I'm not on Canva. I was going to hit the quiet button. I forgot I'm on the web browser. The point is, it's distracting to hear this dog barking while I'm trying to make this video. And I just, like, what? I just wish they'd bring the dog inside. That's all. So I'm calling teams the wrong names. This isn't the Chargers. This is the Rams. But you can kind of understand why I get mixed up. They're both in LA. They both have similar geometric logos. We'll keep them in, hmm, because, you know, they look the same, and also I think it's where they belong. Seahawks. All right. Sorry. Sorry for the rant. Um, the Seahawks might lose the next six games. I'm not joking. Go look at their schedule. It's all division opponents and the Buffalo Bills. Now, they did beat the Falcons. They look good doing it. But I'm scared that that could all come crumbling down. So I will put the Seahawks and Week 18 Warriors and recognize that their best shot at the playoffs is a wild card but they may fall out of that contention the next few weeks. Falcons, just when I start, just when I start giving them giving their giving them their praises. Just when I say you've changed my mind Atlanta, you're better than I thought. They go and lose and look horrible doing it. A lot of it was penalties, a lot of it was just poor decision making. Um you know, but thankfully for them, the whole division lost. So we'll put them in week 18 Warriors because I do think that them or Tampa Bay will win the division. Let's just go ahead and make it easy. We'll just do this. How did the Saints win? You know what? No, let's do it. How did the Saints win their first two games and then lose the rest? I don't get that. They looked so, I mean, like at one point, this team was here. And now they're here? Six weeks later? It's, uh, guess what a quarterback injury will do to you? Okay. Tampa Bay lost to the Ravens. The Ravens are in the Super Bowl conversation. So, you know, it, it's to be expected in some ways. I'll put them here. No, I still think Tampa Bay is the better team. I'm going to, but they just lost Godwin for the season and who knows how long Mike Evans will be out. We'll put them here. I'm scrambling. I'm scrambling. This video, I'm scrambling. You're getting the honest look. This is tough. Put your dog inside. The Bears. If the playoffs started today, this entire division would make the playoffs. What? What? That's insane. Okay. So here's the deal. Out of respect for this division, I'm putting them all in Week 18 Warriors, um, except these two teams, which I'm putting in comfy playoffs and I'm putting in Super Bowl conversation because I've done this the last few weeks and people have been critical of it. And they've said, the Vikings will win the Super Bowl and the Lions go to Minnesota and win the game. I, I just think the, the Lions are a better team than Minnesota. Okay. Giants wins the draft. That's fine. Eagles, I, I know this is tough because this division, again, is pretty wide open. I'll put the Eagles in, uh, you know, the wild cards are thin. I mean, I got to make a stand here. Oh, I got to make it. I got to make a stand. Okay. Here's the stand. As good as Washington has played, I'll put them in wild card, but I'm going to put the Eagles to win the division. And I may regret that, and I may change my mind next week, but we'll do it. And the Cowboys, golly, I, out of pride, out of pride, I'm putting them in. Hmm, they could probably go to six and eleven. Okay, your full rankings list, your full order. Here it comes. Let's do it. I'm okay with this order. I think these teams are in the correct order. We'll keep it. This needs to shift around slightly. I think we put the Vikings here. I think we put the Niner. You know, I think I'm okay with this. I think that's pretty good. I'll do that. Okay. Now for the week 18 Warriors. Who? this is going to get messy. Put the Packers at the front. We'll put Washington up pretty close. Uh, I think, I think the Bengals and the Bears, if they played, the Bengals would win. I know that the Colts beat the Bears, so I'm going to leave them pretty close. I think the Broncos are probably the worst team in this list. I think Seattle would beat this team and this team. I think it'd be very close to the to this team. I'm going to do this, um, and we'll put that there. I don't know. I think Tampa Bay could beat the Colts. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that and realize that some of these could be shifted. For the whom category, we'll put the Cardinals and the Rams at the top spots, and we'll leave that there. I think that's fine. This doesn't change, and then who cares about wins the draft? Okay, there's your list. I hope it meets the standard that that was last week. Uh, I realize that I'm not going to always be able to keep that up, 
Um, so thank you guys for, for coming by. Remember, I'm going to drop a video every day this week. The NBA starts um, today. And I have gone back and forth about, do I want to do a weekly NBA rankings like I do for NFL? If that's something that's interesting to you, please let me know in the comments that you would be interested in watching that. I don't know how many of my viewers who watch this also follow the NBA, right? And so I have to decide, is this channel NFL? It's not. It's everything. But are, are my viewers from this video mainly NFL guys or are they all sports professional leagues guys? So let me know if you'd be interested in NBA content. Otherwise, enjoy your Tuesday. Um, and I'm going to go knock on my neighbor's door. I'm not going to do that. But put your dog inside.